Hi, thank you for checking out. Oh, hi, thank you for checking out Her Divine Light. I'm coming to you with quick insight as far as Teresa's mismatch of stories and documentation. It doesn't make sense. So here we have that Crown Plaza receipt. Now, this is one of the only that actually has a reference to that 9-6-17 date. Now, although this says room 925, there are times in the call where can you, or, um, what's her name? Teresa talks about like knocking next door. I'm not sure how it all connects, okay? But the point is, is like, I just question, all right, 9-6, that's great. Now, this is the audio from her 911 call. Where, where they entered this um, hotel, it was at um, 1.36 p.m. Yeah, they entered the hotel at 1.36 p.m. They were there for three hours. Okay. Now, wait. If your daughter wasn't there on the 6th, yet... You have a parking ticket in your car that says that they were there at 1.36 p.m., which is odd that it's like midday afternoon. Oh, my battery's running low. That's me back there. Um, but yeah, I'll plug this in. But yeah, I guess the point is it's like, well, no, she was there, Teresa. And if she was there, why? Who was she with? Like, okay, then why don't we see anything from 9-6 of her walking in? Maybe we could have seen video of somebody she was engaging with, talking to. Even if it was one of the other girls in Teresa's car, there's just no justification of why there's any type of reference of a parking ticket to that hotel several days prior if she wasn't there or if she had not been there. And I mean, to be honest, at this point, maybe she went and never came back. And that's why the progression and the storyline had to build. Just a thought. So I don't know. Why are you lying, Teresa? Again.